Hey guys. Um, Pisces, my Pisces, I'm here to do your reading today. And I must say that I was just meditating for myself. Like I came here to, um, excuse me, you know, I always got to fix my do-rag. Um, let's start from the beginning. Hello, everyone. Danny Moon here, Karen, a.k.a. whatever you want to call me. <laughs> um, I'm here to do Pisces reading. And I was here meditating for myself. I, I was just about to leave the house. And um, I was feeling a little down. So I said, let me meditate. The meditation was great. Um, and as I'm doing the meditation, you guys, Pisces, kept popping in my head. And I asked spirit, what do you, what do I need to know about Pisces? Said I, I asked for clear messages and I only got two, but those two was use your gift, use your gifts. And the other one was fast movement. I don't know what this is about, but hopefully the cards will tell us more. <clears throat> um... Literally, I just I, I just got out of the meditation. I didn't even pull you an energy card because I just said, let me jump on this now. And I need to stop thinking that spirit's going to leave me. Spirit, please come in and give me messages for Pisces. Thank you, spirit. Spirit, can I get some more... Um, cards for the collective of Pisces for Pisces that was a lot but I'll take them and put them on the side and I don't read reversals I told you unless they land right in front of me and they reverse that means spirit is trying to tell you something and these three are upright and this one is reversed so that means spirit wants me to tell you this so i'm gonna put those on the side spirit can i get some more spirit can i get some more um messages for the collective of pisces can I get some more messages for the Pisces Collective? You want them to you want them to use their gifts. Too many spirit. Can I please get Can I please get some more messages for the Pisces Collective? And I truly said that I, thank you, Spirit. I truly said that I was not going to shuffle on camera no more. I was going to just shuffle them first and have them out so that we can, you know, just get talk about what the messages are saying. But thank you, Spirit. Mm. Mm. That card, everybody getting that card. Oh, everybody's getting that card. Spirit, can you please give me some accurate messages for Pisces? Two more cards, Spirit, two more cards. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the lovers. Um, boom, boom, boom. You know, when I do these messages, they're general messages. So that's my disclaimer. Not all of the cards will resonate, will resonate with everyone, you know. Um, the, and it's a very general reading, you know, whatever I channel and whatever I see on the cards and you know I always give you the definition out of the book so that you know that I am 
correct on what I'm talking about, <laughs> okay? The first card you got is the Three of Swords. This is heartache or loss or heartbreak or um, some type of you're hurting. Um, and yes, it pertains to a relationship, but it could be a loss of a job, a loss of uh, just a friend. Um, but it is a loss and you're hurting right now. Um, you have the wish fulfillment card for your next card, the nine of cups. Um, and that's exactly what I said. Uh, wish fulfillment, nine of cups, cups are emotion. That's, um, love. Um, so that's two love cards. So, um, let's, let's see what else is here. You have the devil in reverse. So the devil upright means attachments some type of um like attachments like addictions um something in your life that you know you should not be doing or many things that you know you should not be doing but you are doing it anyway <laughs> and that can range from this to that so I don't even want to speculate um, but with it in reverse that means you're letting go of that those attachments or those addictions or you're letting go of something that is um, not serving you um, and I know that a different card you're walking away like eight of cups is like walking away from something that's not serving you. But remember, this is like addiction. This is something that is not serving you. And because it's in reverse, that means you're letting it go. You're starting to heal. Um, your next card is seven of swords. And I get this for every zodiac every not even for the zodiac just for the collective whenever i do a reading i get this so you know this is deception or betrayal seven of swords um you know this is um not honest someone around you is being deceptive they're they're not being honest with you they're not being truthful with you they're um deceiving you they're betraying you um it could be now remember y'all i'm going off of energy so this could be your energy or somebody around you so just be aware of sneakiness tricksters be aware of whoever's in your circle um be even be aware of family Yeah, even be aware of family. Sometimes I, I'm quiet so that I can hear. Um, your next one is Page of Pentacles in Reverse. And I really don't like to read reversals. But like I said, it was right in front of me, reversed. I could not, like, even if it was a little crooked, I would have turned it upright. But it was really reversed. So, Page of Pentacles is someone coming in with a with some type of message. Um, it has to do with money, um, a new job, um, slow money, but it will you will build up the money. Um, but in reverse, I feel like you're not taking action somewhere when it comes to work. You're not, um, and you know, Pentacles is the home life too. Your, your material wealth within your home. Pentacles is earth. Um, it's also money. You know what I mean? So something's not going right within your home, right? Your home, right? Your home life, um, or at your job. So, and I also feel like this seven of swords has something to do with your job. Um, maybe even family. It could do with family, but it could be work because you have the um, pentacles card here. Um, then your next card is the greatest card. I love it. You have the world in the upright position, which is good. This is new cycles. This is, you're just moving into a new cycle of your life. It could be a belief system that you're moving, that you're growing into. Um, it could be a new job, uh, uh, 
you know, sometimes if, even if it's your birthday, it could be like, um, not your birthday, but you know, a new cycle. Some like it was my birthday and now I'm 44. So I have a different mindset. It could be a different change of life, you know, a new cycle, um, which is going to bring you lots of happiness. Um, and I told you the bottom of the deck was the lovers, which is a decision. It has to do with relationship. It has to do with a relationship with your spouse um, or your potential spouse. Um, but it also means a, a decision-making time. Um, underneath that, I have the four swords. So that's rest. You got to get some rest. Um, and then I have uh, six of wands, which is victory. That's awesome. Uh, the ones that fell out over here. And remember, everyone, I don't try to put together your story i just tell you the cards and spirit took the card out for you to know what's going on and you put it to your life you put it to your story okay um like i said you have three upright and one reverse so the first one is seven of pentacles so you're watching your money grow you're, you're watching your your hard work is you you got the hard work going on and you're just watching it grow and grow and grow i do feel like you're a little tired of waiting um but you need to be patient that's all you can do is be patient and pray um because you do have the page of wands here and the page of swords Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. So, all the pages to me, this is just my take on the pages, that they always come in with a message. So, you definitely got some type of message coming through, especially with the Page of Swords, because this is a communication card. So, look out for some type of communication within your work. Um, and it could, it could, I'm just saying... It could be like a promotion or more money because you got the world here. You're going into a different phase in your life. So, um, and I do feel like they are going together. Um, and just in case this message or whatever, it does have to do with work. And you're not really satisfied with the pay because that's a pinnacle. I think you should take it on anyway. I think you should take it on anyway. And, um... Only if it's, the, if it's the same amount of money. You don't want to go lower. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, but if it's if the pay doesn't increase, but it's a different skill set or a different department, um, you're doing something different with your skills, I say do it. Just do it. See where it can take you and where it could lead. Um, an opportunity is an opportunity. Okay, so you might as well take it. Um, like I said, Page of Swords is a message. Is a message. Some type of message is coming your way, and it's gonna it's gonna come back. It's gonna come by you pretty quickly. So keep your ears and eyes open for some type of messenger. Um, and it could. When I say that, I always have to explain. It, it's not like a messenger coming to your door. It could be a friend. It could be a coworker. It could be a boss. But someone's gonna give you a message about an opportunity that is going to take you into your next cycle. Okay. You are watching your money grow, but I do feel like you're bored and you're tired and you're losing patience. Um. But remember, you got the wish fulfillment card. So something is coming in for you. But I think at the same time that you're dealing with work, you must be dealing with some type of loss. I don't know if this pertains to a relationship or not. I'm not sure. But remember, you did get at the bottom of the deck, the lovers, and this has to do with a relationship. So your decision could be, your decision could be something in the era of, should I leave this person? Should I stay? And you know, could be, I don't know, but I'm just saying those two cards do go together. They mesh well together. Even if it is three of swords, it's still a decision that you're going to have to make here with the lover's card. Um, now, we got the page of wands in reverse, and it came out directly reverse. So that just means you're, 
that goes along with this card. You're, you're growing your harvest, but look at him. He doesn't even seem interested. He's bored. You know what I mean? And you know there's no gender in tarot. Um, he's very, very bored. But this um page of wands reverse means there's a lack of passion somewhere, which goes with this card. So maybe because of what you're doing now, there's a lack of passion. But this message that's going to come in um, that is going to bring you a new cycle will... Um, it will, uh, you know, spruce you up or something. I don't know. Maybe it'll, it's a it's a new opportunity. Maybe it'll, um, you know, maybe it'll give you something. Maybe it'll spark something in your life. Something to make you happy about. Um, I know I said there was one. Um, there was one reverse card, but it was two because it was the Page of Wands. Um, and this is. The two of wands, and this also was reversed. Okay, um, and two of wands, one, anything with a two, that means um, there's a decision you have to make. Okay, um, if you look at him, he has the world in his hands. So you have, I do feel like you have the, um, you have the opportunity and the resources in front of you to make. Whatever decision you have to make, whether it's with your love life or your job, um, I do think you're fearful. That's what two of wands upright means. He made his decision. He's making a decision. He's he's about to go for it. But reverse means you're still contemplating and you're not making a decision. So, but you have the resources in front of you to make that decision. Your instinct, and when I say resources, your instinct, spirit. God is telling you, you know what to do. You are just not doing it. And of course, I know when you make big decisions, it can impact an entire family. It can impact kids. It can, it can be hurtful to the person or the other person. But sometimes if you want your life to move, and if you want to move on to this new cycle, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to remember what I said about this. You're going to have to really let it go. You're starting to let all of these things that are not serving you, any addictions, um, anything that is not good in your life, you're letting them go. So let them, so make the decision and really let all of it go. Um, I'm telling you, it, you, you'll feel like a weight off of your shoulders, Pisces. I'm telling you, you really, really would. Um, okay, so and then these cards fell out. Um, and we have the six of cups here, which is nostalgia, which is thinking about your past. So I'm not sure if any of this relationship stuff has to do with your past. And it, it, if someone's trying to come back and reconcile with you, um, or maybe you just know someone from your past and you want to be with them, or maybe you was with someone from your past and it's not working out because you got the three of swords, Nostalgia. The thing about this card is that, and what spirit is trying to tell you is that, get up out the past. You're here in the present. You can't even look towards the future. You can have hopes and goals towards your future, but you have to live in the present moment. That means making decisions so that you can move forward, okay? So this is, it's cool to Think about back in the day. And it's cool to even think about someone from back in the day. And it's cool to even talk to somebody from back in the day. But now, this is the present time. And if you're here for a reading, Spirit is trying to tell you, you're moving. You are, because I see in these cards that you're working hard. I see that you are um, making your wishes because you got the wish fulfillment card. Um, you have the world card. You have some really good cards here. But Spirit is trying to tell you you're not moving fast enough. You're moving a little slow. Take more action so that your life can unfold in front of you. Okay? Um, and just like what I was saying... Spirit doesn't want you to have fear. This is the moon, and the moon is about fear. The moon is about mystery. The moon is about not knowing, hidden truths. So 
But what? Think about it. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> what else are you gonna do? You just gonna sit, being looking like this man? You just gonna sit and just be bored? You're just gonna be sit and be unhappy in whatever relationship you're in? You're just gonna sit and just not move forward? Like that doesn't make any sense. Okay? Um, I'm up to twenty, and you know I got it. It'll shut me off at thirty-three. So, um, Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving night in the deck, but you can count your money on him. Okay? Even though he's slow. He going to bring you that money. I do feel that this reading has something to do with your relationship. Whether you're in one or not. Because if you're not in a relationship, <clears throat> that means you had a loss, a breakup. Um, <clears throat> and you're still in a decision process. Whether you want to get back with the person or not, you know. And then if you are in a relationship... Um, I don't feel because of the three of swords, I don't think that it's going, going the way you want it to go. Okay. And it, and spirit is trying to say, you have to make a decision. Okay. But now with the, with the night, um, with the night of pentacles, it, it, this reading also has to do with work. I do feel that you're going to get a message. I do feel that a new opportunity is going to be in front of you. I do think you're going to enjoy it more than what you're, you're doing now. So I say the cards are saying, even though you don't have the full card, which is take a leap of faith, me and spirit, spirit is saying, take a leap of faith. When that message comes in, because it's going to come in. Make a decision on if you want to do this job or whatever. You know, um, get out of the past. There's nothing there. Okay? Step into your present. Okay? Let all that addiction, everything that doesn't serve you, let it go. Um, and that is it, Pisces. Um, I do want to pick... Um, an energy card for you before we go. And overall, um, ugh. Spirit, can you please give the Pisces Collective uh, energy card for the rest of the month so they know which way to go, Spirit. I am a terrible shuffler, so don't laugh at me. But it's not about the shuffle. It's about what card spirit takes out. What what does God want you to know? What does spirit want you to know? Even though you already know, Pisces, you're very um, intuitive people. Pisces, y'all are very intuitive people people you you have lots of gifts now all different type of gifts you definitely thank you spirit you definitely have gifts um spirit this is too much but i will take two of them three of them um Early in the reading, I told you, have patience. This messenger that's coming in that's going to tell you something about your job, please look out for this person. Please look out for this message. It could be an email. It could be a, a billboard that you see. It could be anything. It, a message is coming in and spirit wants you to be patient. Be patient. Just be patient. Pray on it and it'll come through. Um, the next one is community. Pisces, I do, another thing about y'all is that y'all are very, um, loving, like, not love, yeah, y'all are very loving, but people love y'all, you know what I'm saying, people gravitate to y'all because y'all are just really good people, um, but please watch out for this trickster, remember, watch out for this trickster, there's some way around you, um, the next one, I told you about your gifts, this one says healer, of the ages. 
Healer of the Ages, 51. Let's try to, before this thing cuts me off. Um, I know I'm, you're, you're probably like, why she keep saying that? Because I didn't learn how to, um, my phone yet, how to um, make it longer so that I can make a longer video. I just know that spirit wanted me to get these messages out to you right now. So please take heed to all the things I told you. And Pisces, honestly, your, your reading, it wasn't all over the place, but there was two direct messages in here. Something about your relationship and making a decision and then about work. So please mix and mingle in that and do something with that. Okay. Um, here of the ages, health and vitality. Um, you may have felt this strong presence recently, or you may just be opening to the wonderful sensations. Now you can call upon this blank of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality or balance or renewal. Know that at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place. So yes, um, everybody needs balance. Um, and like I said, I feel that the Pisces Collective, you all, even if you all don't tap into it, I feel like you all have gifts. Um, once you tap into that gift, once you meditate, once you align yourself with spirit, <clears throat> you will see a whole transformation take place. Okay. Um, and it says... Uh, you can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality or balance or renewal. And remember, I told you, you got this card of four of swords, which is rest, renewal, rejuvenation. You have to rest. You have to, and I don't really think it's about a physical rest. I think with you guys, Pisces, I know y'all, y'all are deep, y'all are deep people, so I know that you're working your mind, you're working your mind when it comes to this relationship that you're in, or this relationship that you just got out of, and you're working your mind when it comes to this job, your mind, your mind, your mind, and you're not even a, I'm an air sign, I, I am the one who you're supposed to be in the mind, but I'm telling you Pisces, if you just take the advice of spirit of making a decision, Leaving all the addictions. And the addiction could be anything. It could be cigarettes. It could be... um, What else? It could be anything. It could be substance abuse. It could be um, alcohol abuse. I, I don't really know. And I don't want to tell you your story. You, uh, uh, you know. You are the only one that knows. But I'm telling you. This devil in reverse means that you are letting... All of that stuff go. You are gonna. You are going to start to walk in your alignment. You are going to start to walk in your path. I think you just probably needed a little push, like from a reader, um, from tarot. Listening to tarot, and again, I don't know why I'm getting this, but y'all have gifts. Use your gifts, Pisces. Use your gifts. Y'all will come into your gifts very strongly. You know, whether that is clairvoyancy, um, tarot card reading, astrology, um, uh, feeling presence. Um, I don't know the names of each um, gift. Being an empath, you know, an empath, that's a big gift too. You know, I think you need to come into your gift. Once you start to align yourself with spirit, in line yourself on the path that you're supposed to be with the Lord, with God, your God. You could that could be any God you want. You know what I'm saying? Once you in align yourself with that, everything will fall in place. Okay. Um, I felt like I had to get that out to y'all, Pisces. Um, thank you so much. Um, if you want a free short reading. I only ask for donations for my cards, um, but you can hit me up at Karen, K-A-R-E-N, the number four, and the word dance, D-A-N-C-E, at gmail.com, and um, yeah, or hit me up on Facebook, Karen Alexander, and I know there's a lot of K 
Karen Alexander's out there. If you put keywords in like Danny Moon or pole dancing, because I teach pole dancing, woo -hoo, um, put those keywords in, I will pop up, okay? I am more than happy to give you a personal reading so that we can dive into what this job thing is about and what this um, relationship thing is about and so we can dive into your gifts, okay? Thank you. Love you. Sending you love and light.